Fish Medication Part 3. This is the third video in a series discussing disease mitigating medication for reef fish. Chemotherapeutics are potentially deadly with slender medicinal and lethal dose thresholds. Remedies containing copper and formalin are toxic to many reef inhabitants and must never be used in reefs. When utilized incorrectly for fish, they alter gills, leading to asphyxiation and death. For this reason, please only medicate fish once you have completely understood and also read the transcript of each video. In part 2 we explored the safe application of a fish-only disease-suppressing concentration of a copper and formalin-based remedy. This time we discussed the safe mitigation of active infections of ornamental tropical marine teleosts within recirculating systems. Cartilaginous fish of the Parphylum chondrichthys, such as sharks, rays, skates and chimeras are more sensitive to copper. Hence the protocol discussed in this series may prove unsuitable. It is the speed at which fish are exposed as well as the final concentration that is potentially harmful. The cupric ion ceiling for ornamental tropical marine teleosts extends to merely 0.1 mg per litre or parts per million. If fish are not already accustomed to a disease-suppressing concentration of 0.05 mg per litre, follow the instructions within part 2 of this series before commencing to treat active infections. It is crucial to diagnose an illness before treatment. For example, copper and formalin remedies do not treat viral infections or flukes. Lymphocystis virus manifests as cream or white cauliflower-like growths. Cupric ions and formalin are constituents of broad-spectrum chemotherapeutics and are efficacious against amelodinium oscillatum, cryptocarrion irritans, uranema marinum, brooklynella hostilis, and some pathogenic bacteria and harmful algal blooms. If a range of symptoms normally attributed to multiple pathogens are observed, it is likely an immunosuppressing stressor is operative. We hope to identify the symptoms of a single treatable pathogen. Consult the complete reef aquarist available from summer 2023 to ensure the system operates stress-free. The aquarist must use a Merck test kit able to detect 0.05 mg per litre of cupric ions in seawater. They cost in the region of £150 sterling but there are no shortcuts or more economical ways of medicating a commercial ornamental tropical marine fish-only system without losses. Test to ascertain the current concentration that should be in the region of 0.04 mg per litre. Otherwise refer to part 2 of this series. It is essential to test and never assume the concentration. Perform dose calculations in triplicate and dilute in a litre of water, and administer to the holding aquaria as described in part 2. Never dose systems with anything without first determining the concentration and if test kits are not available, do not treat. The target concentration for day 1 of an active infection is 0.07 mg per litre. This concentration should be maintained whilst the fish are inspected to ascertain the therapeutic threshold. If by day 3 significant efficacy is not observed, raise the concentration to 0.08 mg per litre and sustain whilst examining fish for 2 more days. If symptoms persist, raise the concentration to 0.09 ppm and finally 0.1 ppm. Gradual application and two-day observations are mandatory. Do not ever exceed 0.1 mg per litre. The most virulent pathogens usually respond earlier or at 0.09 ppm. Suspect inappropriate husbandry practices and system malfunction if the illness persists. However, such investigations should be carried out before embarking on chemotherapeutic protocols. Once a therapeutic threshold is reached, maintain the concentration for 14 weeks. Any new additions must be from a system within which cupric ion concentrations are maintained. The Reef Ranch video, Neo Benedinia melani, the scourge of the ornamental tropical marine fish industry, describes a fish-only system acclimation technique which should be used for new specimens. Therapeutic copper does not treat eye parasites or gill flukes, but the regime described in that video can be adopted because both therapeutic strategies may be safely combined. Neither the originator nor Reef Ranch Publishing Limited are responsible for any harm. For further guidance see the complete Reef Aquarist available from summer 2023.